Good afternoon, Barry Uremcio. I'm a ruminant nutritionist out of Stetler, Alberta. With the weather patterns that we've had this summer, early harvesting of canola and then late season moisture, we have found that there's a lot of fields that are turning yellow with a foot to a foot and a half, maybe even two feet of growth, regrowth on the canola. And guys are wanting to use that for, for grazing this fall. Now canola at full flower or early pod stage uh, has the equivalent amount of nutrients as a high quality alfalfa grass hay. 14 to 16 percent protein, 62 to 65 percent TDN, good calcium levels. So it's a really high quality feed, but there are a couple things that need to be taken into consideration when you're looking at putting this, these animals onto this feed. One is there's a possibility that you're going to have some nitrate accumulations in that plant. So having a feed test done before you turn them out is critical. If you do find you have nitrate in that feed, always uh, put out a bale of hay or some sort of feed in the morning, feed the animals with the hay, turn them out for three or four hours in the afternoon until they get acclimatized to the feed. And then after four or five days, they should be fine to continue on. One of the other concerns that is a little bit different is most of these canola crops have a high level of sulfur applied in the spring because they want to produce a, a good quality canola with a high yield. This year when guys are only getting 12 or 15 bushels to the acre, there's a lot of that residual sulfur available to the plant. With the late rainfall, sulfur is being picked up by that plant. If you have more than 0.4% sulfur in the plant material, that will cause the pH in the rumen to drop and that will kill off the bacteria that have produced thymine. Now thymine is needed for the prevention of the brain from swelling and from polio from occurring. So it is something that can happen. Uh, they've had situations in northwestern Saskatchewan a couple years ago where they had high sulfur levels in the water and they had 200 dead cows within a week. So it's not something to take lightly. The third thing with canola, if the cows have never had to eat it before, it's gonna take them three or four days to get adjusted to the feed. They may clip the tops, they may uh, come back to the fence and not wanting to eat it because they don't know what it is, but after three or four days, they'll settle back in and they'll clean it all up and they do very, very well on that feed.